Out front now, Democratic Congressman Tom Malinowski of New Jersey, member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, former Assistant Secretary of State under President Obama when the prosecutor at the center of the Biden accusations uh, was fired. And I know you and I have talked about that and uh, how you say uh, everybody wanted it done and told Joe Biden to be the messenger. Congressman, I want to first get your reaction tonight to the White House's letter to the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, and the chairman of your committee, Elliot Engel. Uh, they call the impeachment investigation uh, in this uh, letter invalid and unconstitutional. Your response, sir? I, I guess they haven't read the Constitution because impeachment is right there. It is a power of the House of Representatives. As you know, the role of the House in this process is not to convict the president. We, we play a role akin to a grand jury. Uh, we investigate the, the charges and we decide whether uh, the president merits being put on trial by the Senate. And in a grand jury, you don't get the things that the president is demanding, the right to cross-examine witnesses and, and so forth. So whoever wrote this uh, is completely unfamiliar with the, the most basics of the law in America, not to mention the Constitution. I would also say that, look, we're giving him a chance here. We, we already know most of the facts. We know that, that President Trump asked a foreign government to, to uh, interfere in, in our 2020 election. We're giving them a chance to tell their side of the story. We're trying to give them due process mm -hmm. by having these interviews and, and collecting this information. So if they choose not to avail themselves of that opportunity, right. it's actually their loss. So, so let me ask you, though, what happens here? Because they're, they're, they're very clear here. They're not cooperating. Um, the, the letter, the quote is, President Trump and his administration cannot participate in your partisan and unconstitutional inquiry under these circumstances. I want to be clear, as uh, Caitlin pointed out, they don't say um, whether if the House goes ahead and votes for a formal inquiry that they would cooperate then either. And, and it is pretty clear that they would not. Is this a constitutional crisis? I mean, what do you do next? They just said they're not cooperating. What are you going to do? Well, it's, it's absolutely clear that non-cooperation can itself uh, be a, uh, a charge against them in an impeachment process. It's obstruction of a constitutional process. And it's not necessarily going to stop us from getting the facts because, again, we, we already know many of the facts. The president has admitted that he did what he did, which the vast majority of the American people consider to be highly inappropriate. So, you know, we'll continue to talk to people. Uh, and by the way, the president can't order people at the State Department, for example, not to talk to the Congress. We've already conducted one interview. We will conduct more. Anybody who wants to talk to us can still talk to us, and, and I believe many people will. So they're only hurting themselves by taking this and, position. And they're saying, obviously, uh, that you know you all are threatening to withhold uh, the salaries of State Department uh, people who, who choose not to cooperate. I mean, you, in terms of non-cooperating, uh, Gordon Sondland today was supposed to appear, and he willingly appeared. You didn't have to subpoena him. He was there. He flew in from Brussels. He came in. Uh, moments before he was supposed to testify, Team Trump said, you can't go. Uh, and he's important, right? He's the guy who received the text message saying, I think POTUS really wants the deliverable when talking uh, to uh, then special representative for Ukraine. Um, you have uh, now subpoenaed him tonight to appear next Wednesday. So what are you going to do if he doesn't show up? Is there, they're saying basically, I mean, they're not, it, it looks like they're not even going to go with a subpoena. Well, if, look, if, again, if they don't defend themselves against the evidence, the copious evidence that we already have, then I think it disadvantages them. This is, again, it's not the kind of investigation where we're starting with nothing. We're, we're starting with almost everything. And we're trying to give them a chance to, to have a little due process here and to tell their side of the story. My guess is he wants to tell his side of the story. Maybe he thinks he didn't do anything wrong, despite what those yeah. text messages uh, and, show. Let me but ask, if he doesn't yeah. show up, then we will... You know, we will assume what we what we know to be true. So, Congressman Alaska, I want to ask you one other thing from from this letter. OK, it says in the history of our nation, the House of Representatives have never attempted to launch an impeachment inquiry against the president without a majority of the House taking political accountability for that decision by voting to authorize such a dramatic constitutional step. Now, I want to make it clear they are. It, it, it appears very clearly not going to cooperate with you, even if you were to take that step. But they are correct that the House did vote to authorize impeachment inquiries into Bill Clinton and Richard Nixon, uh, that there was a formal vote taken. Why not hold such a vote? 
Well, there's there's no requirement to to hold such a vote uh, at at the outset. Uh, I think, look, I think most Americans, th these are these are procedural issues that that are not remotely as weighty as what the president appears to have done, trading our national security to for for political favors, for personal political favors. And and you know, I suspect I I, I think the Republicans in the House have been pressing this partly because they want a diversion and partly because I think that they see the way this is going. They, they see that each day we're learning new things that are outraging um, Americans of both parties. They see the way in which the polls are going and they'd like to have this vote as quickly as possible to lock their members down um, right. because they're, I think they're afraid they may start losing votes. Right, so Congressman. yeah, we're we're, I, we're we're focused on getting the facts right now and and providing the administration with due process. It's up to them to avail themselves of that. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your time.